Hey guys, it's Impsub88, and I decided that I was going to do my own review on El Drago Destroyer. Woo! Anyway, here he is. Right now I have him metal faced. <laughs> but, um, his parts and whatnot. Here we have the parts El Drago 3 baseball. Okay, for some reason I don't want to focus. So I'm just going to set it down here and zoom on it. There we go. Okay, moving right off. El Drago Destroyer Face. It's the El Drago 3 Face. We have. The destroy ring. We have El Drago energy ring, energy core, or whatever it is, and final survive. Okay. <sighs> now going to um, do a quick go over his modes. This is multi-hit mode. Here the plastic, plastic is exposed. It's pretty beast. The rubber is his mouth. And then we have the absorb mode, where the rubber is exposed and the plastic is his mouth. Beast, Lyuga in the um, 4D anime. I've only saw AMVs, but um, he uses absorb mode when it goes like he switches, like if he needs more power. So that would make one think that it would be more powerful, but actually, in my opinion, it's not. I mean, it's good for spin still, but that's about it. Alright, now talk about Final Survive. Final Survive starts out as full flat, then goes to Spike. I know in the tag team review I did with Sephiroth 1821, I said I didn't like this part, but it's actually pretty good if you know how to use it and if you use it in the right kind of stadium. This, ex for example, this is a great stadium to use it in. It's uh, just one of those stadiums that you would want to use the whole flat in. It's pretty darn beast. Um, and then the for the stamina, you know, it's just it's flat on the bottom. So it's it's like they made this knowing that El Drago Destroy was eventually gonna hit you. Okay, now to assemble. For uh, multi-hit mode, you obviously leave the plastic exposed. Then I generally put that, and then screw in the face bolt just a tiny little bit with my hand, and take a nice handy dandy tool, tighten it just one little bit. I don't force tighten it too much because I don't want to strip the face bolt or the uh, Crap, I can't think of what they're called. Rivets, I guess is what you would say. Rivets inside of the final survive. Alright. Now for a test spin. Let's hope he don't throw himself in a pit. That's the only problem I've had out of it. As you can see, with the right launch pattern he does go around in the middle which is good for hitting those pesky stamina and defensive bays and he then continues by going on up and hitting them again which is really easy for a ring out and now you can see he's slowing down and you heard the click and now he's in stamina mode I've learned that he's actually got pretty decent stamina as you will soon see
normally if he's in a battle with another attack type he gets knocked off balance real easy and that's not always too much fun but there has been some times where he's been pretty freaking beast in stamina and he's just been like zen like, uber still like you wouldn't be able to tell that, that like the bay was spinning if it had been like if you could actually see every single design on the bay that you know is there or if you didn't know what the bay looked like you would think it was just a bay standing because that'd be how still he was and you couldn't really tell much of a movement so now you can see he's taken a little bit of a wobble that's not unusual with spike performance tips and that's when he's about right there that's pretty much when the match is over for you but one thing I did figure out is the final survive the space between here and here like from the point of the performance tip or the side of the whole flat part to the edge of this if he is sitting it doesn't allow him to scrape so it don't kill him as fast so he's kind of just that and like if he was like lower he would be like hitting and it would the rubber would touch and it would slow his final spin down a lot more which also adds to his stamina so on a rating out of 1 through 10 for this bay I would probably have to give it a probably 9 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 for uh, materials and everything, you know, just all together. Use now for usage of this bay. He doesn't have very much use because uh, unless you're needing just an extra face bolt, which you could just spend less money on and buy two metal faces, um, or if you just want that final survive, it's not really useful with any other bay. Um, but he does have some pretty awesome combos like put him on a 100 track and then use um, the left flat that comes with Meteor Well Drago um, use that that's a pretty good combo with Metal Face so he's got some use that's why I rate him a 9 out of 10 um, yeah Pretty, pretty beast but um, I'm gonna do one quick little battle with him for y'all and uh, I'm going to uh, reposition my camera and I'll be right back hey guys I'm back after rigorously setting up the stadium for this matchup but in this matchup you shall see El Drago destroy final survive versus Earth Eagle this will show El Drago destroys superb stamina and attack power. And we shall begin. As you can see, El Drago is rather beast. But he's just so much so. Round two. Round two begins.
And with a stamina win, El Drago wins round two. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. M-Subs 88 out.